with vision to where the Lord is going to take us. We are so glad to be here and honored indeed to be privileged to participate in this gratification. 60 years, 60 years, in which the great apostolic Jesus name, one God, That's right. Amen. the message has been proclaimed. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank God for it. God. And thank God for our brother, Sister Eve Bright, yes, who accepted the baton, the torch of truth from his father, the bishop, and have content, continued to carry it faithfully, proclaiming the gospel. Brother E. Bright, or Jean E. Bright, is unique, isn't he? Yes, he is. There is only, well, I start to say there's only one, but then I see Brother Lane over there. <laughs> there's one and a half, he cries. <laughs> but we appreciate the, the friendship, the fellowship of Brother and Sister E. Bright. The years we've been privileged to share with them and rejoice with them and weep with them and pray with them has filled us with many memories and uh, again this is just a time for pausing because we look forward to that great continuation of rejoicing preaching together he spoke about visiting some 15 different countries uh, we've got about 15 more to go brother uh, and Every time I've gone, I recently were, was privileged to be in the Philippines in April, help them celebrate their conference as well as our first uh, missionary conference, Asia Pacific Conference. I don't know how many came up to me and says, what about Brother Ibrahim? Yeah. How's Brother Ibrahim? Yeah. Everywhere I go, they don't ask about me, they ask about me. <laughs> <laughs> How's Brother Ibrahim? He's left, he's leaving his stem, his footprint, his impression on people's lives around the world. I think it was a very wise choice when the decision was made to appoint him as regional field supervisor for Asia and for the Pacific Islands. He's done and is doing a tremendous work and we appreciate him. The Bible tells us and we seek to be students of the Bible and obedient to the Word of God. The Bible tells us, teaches us to be, to give honor, to give tribute. I looked at the Bible a while ago again just to make sure it said it like that. I know in our King James Version it says, tribute to whom tribute is due, and honor to whom honor. Whom honor. Actually, the word is due is not in the original writings. It shouldn't be there, so we just should say tribute to whom tribute, honor to whom honor. Because we ought to have enough sense enough, and enough spirit enough, and enough sensitivity enough to know whom to whom it's due. Right, all right, right, right. And we have someone here that is due our honor. Yes. It is due, he is due our tribute. And that's the purpose of this gathering here, not only to look back on 60 years of the church, but also to pay tribute to the man that occupies this pulpit and continues to hold high the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We sent out some letters to churches. I'm sorry I did not, was not able to get them out sooner because I didn't have time to. But we sent out some letters asking churches and pastors to come to this gathering uh, to pay tribute to this man by supporting him monetarily as we have prayerfully and spiritually. Now I'd like for this offering today, he has given me, they have given me the liberty of doing this. Uh, so we're going to ask you to give an offering today liberally to brother and sister E. Bright. Honor to whom honor, tribute to whom tribute. Right. So let it be a tribute of offering 
I suggested in my letter that I sent out, this is the 60th year anniversary, so I think it would be appropriate if each one gave $60. That's not very much. Usually when the preacher gets up and asks for an offering, he asks, how many is going to give 500? Or how many is going to give 100? So everybody wants to stand up because I'm just asking for 60. <laughs> So $60 offering. Uh, one pastor who was not able to come sent me a check for $60. So God bless this pastor in the church. And the other you that are here today, consider this please. Bring an offering of $60 and pay tribute to this great man and his wife and the work they are doing for the kingdom of God. Amen. Will the ushers come, please? I understand it's the custom here to, to march. Bring your offering. That's biblical. Bring your offering. 